So it's not even 11 yet. Bit odd, isn't it? Yeah. Sierra Oscar from Sierra 1, TOA 2257. Sierra Oscar received. Situation report. And we're outside the Cranley Arms now, Sarge. You got any more details of that disturbance? No, but a gunshot was heard, so proceed with caution. What do you reckon? Take a look. It's a comfort knowing we've got body armour, ain't it? <laughs> the Oscar received. No sign of any activity. Gonna take a closer look. Yeah, received. I haven't done anything. I'm clean. I'm clean. Oh, yeah. And you are? Dave, uh, Hughes. All right. Dave, uh, Hughes. What's this all about? Don't shoot. I don't know. The landlord, Eddie, where is he? I didn't see anyone. Hello, Neil. Oh, Neil, is it? Neil Henry. Wanted for non payment of fines. Look, uh, could you hold on to him for a minute, please? Yeah, all right. What's going on, mate? I don't know. Where is everyone? Eddie, what the hell? Well, I think you should stop that. What's going on? Some jerk's been sick, that's all. Well, where's the light switch in here? Who's been hurt? It's nothing. What's happened? Don't be stupid, Eddie. But you like being a licensee, do you? Oh, come on. Your choice. Oh, yeah. Great. Legs broken. Pub torched. Fat lot of use of licenses then. Oh, it bleeds for you. So does this mean you were the only witness? So who's to say how we found out? I really don't deserve this. Eddie. Royal. Michael Royal. So who's he hurt this time? No. The other way around. What? He left. There was a shot. Royal's been shot. He went out back to the car park. There was a shot. Then he staggered back in. Where is he now? Sorry. But he's not here? No. Anyone with him? There might have been. Okay. Let's take a look out the back, shall we? And there's no telling where he's gone or how badly he's been injured? No, not yet, Sarge. Right, cheers, Tony. Royals, by the bike. So I must have gone off in the car. Who's car? Who with it? Us. Eddie, I don't know. I don't even want to know. Oh, it's Michael Royal. I mean, where'd you start? Crack dealer of the year in 94. Yeah, runner up in 95. Is he still wanted for attempted murder? Yeah. Nice bloke then. Yeah, top draw. Sierra Oscar 85 from Sierra Oscar. Thanks very much. We'll Go ahead, Sarge. Are you only went near St. Hughes? Gatley Road, Sarge. Sarge. Sorry to interrupt. Stand by. Suspect son at Wolf Crescent Health Centre. Yeah. I mean, is that a coincidence? Royal's been shot. Would he head for casualty or what? Sierra Oscar, eight five from Sierra Oscar. Suspect son, Wolf Crescent Health Centre. Can you deal? On way. May be connected with tonight's incident, Gary. So approach with caution. Receive, Sarge. Lights are on. Right. I'll check around the back. Three six three from three five eight. Go ahead, Gary. No sign of entry around the front. Oh, wait a minute. There's someone inside. Heading your way, I think. I don't know how you got in there. Shh. Oh, 
All right. What do you think right. you're doing? What's going on? Come on. All right. All right. Take your hands off. Stand still. I'm here on legitimate business. Is that right, sir? Yes. And you are? I'm a doctor. David Montague. One of the partners here. Any proof of identification, sir? Look, I, I don't have anything on I me. Mean, look, this is an emergency. One of my patients is seriously ill. Well, the ambulance is on its way, but I think I can get there first. If you give me the chance. <laughs> look, keys. I've got keys. There's proof. How else do you think I've got in? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, we're sorry. It's just that we saw a light no, on uh, uh, Don't worry, but I must go. Right, excuse me, sir. What's the address? What? We'll give you an escort. Oh, right. Yes, thank you. Uh, 71 Elcott Street. Red and Evening, sir. Hope I didn't drag you out of bed. Even if I had a witty rejoinder to that remark, Matthew, I wouldn't waste it on you. Early Right. Okay, can I have your name? Ross showed up yet? No. Well, let's hope he bleeds to death before we find it. Straight away, thanks very much. Got him out of bed, Sarge. Not his own, I bet. 358 from Sierra Oscar. Situation report. No further action taken. Doctor on emergency call. Now escorting him to 71 Elcott Street, ETA. Four minutes. ETA, four minutes. Ambulance already on way. Received. Nice move that, Gary, banging the doctor up against the wall. Do you want to hear from plane? <laughs> Where's he gone? I don't know. He weren't going that fast, were he? Maybe he's gone a different way. Shortcut. Wall comes out of the car park, gets himself shot, bleeds like a stuck pig, staggers back inside, and then vanishes. Yes, sir. And apart from Neil and Eddie, nobody sees or hears anything. Right. Oh, it's a fair bit half those in there tonight had good reason to make themselves scarce. Only Neil wasn't quick enough with a mark, was he? He was stuck in the bog. Oh, great. No 71. 358 from Sierra Oscar. 358 receiving. Your PNC, the registered keeper, is Dr. Montague, the Wolf Crescent Health Centre. Is there a home address, Paul? No. Yes, I did get the message, but you better remind me. Michael Royal, 5 foot 10, dark hair, bullet hole. <laughs> I walked into that one. PCA, Montague. Madam. Montague. Have you got the number? I don't believe this. What yeah, a pair okay, of herbers. Thanks, we'll give you an escort. Sierra Oscar from 358. Sierra Oscar receiving. Just a thought, Paul. But if the health centre's alarmed, Montague might be a listed keyholder. Brilliant. Received. Got it. No sign of his car. No. Hello? Police? Anyone here? Steve? Have a look at this. Whoever it is hasn't hung around. Could it be Royal? Well, they can't be on their own. Not get here, get this started, then get off again. Doctor and Mrs. David Montague. It looks like she's been here as well. Who shot Royal? 
You must have heard something. I didn't. Who was with him then? I don't know. Oh, I don't believe this! He's out there, badly wounded, been driven around by some doctor whose wife's been held hostage, and you're acting like you didn't even notice Royal had got shot! How long were you in the Cranley Arms tonight? An hour? Two? An hour. Then you must have seen him in the pub. Dealing, was he? What was it, crack? So we had a lot of visitors. You one of them? There was a girl. What girl? She was begging him, and Roy wouldn't give her any. Go on. She then, um... For 20 quid, you know... Offered herself, just like that, to anyone in the bar. What happened? Eddie threw her out. But she came back later, she was... And there was some shouting. She was screaming at Royal. He dragged her out into the car park. Then I heard a shot. Who was she? Describe her. Long hair, dirty, short skirt, black leather jacket. A Tom. Called? Called? Something like, uh, Annabelle. Annabelle? Wouldn't she do it for a father? Tim! It's too late. It's too late. He's dead. Yes, why not? I think I could be forgiven under the circumstances. My wife, all right. Oh, you're probably a better judge than we are, but she seems to be, yes. Yes. Okay, um, in your own time. Uh, yes, right. Well, um, uh, Jane and I had just come back from a charity fundraising ball for, um, <laughs> for St. Hugh's, ironically. When the doorbell goes and I'm suddenly pushed inside by two men, carrying uh, an injured man. Michael Royal. Mm. Did you know him? No. And the two men? No. You catch their names? No. You describe them? Well, uh, one was, uh, Stocky, dark hair, moustache, hadn't shaved. Ah, oh, mid twenties. The other one, his early forties, greying, pale face, thin, six foot, six foot one. Royal? Yep. Mm. Was in a very bad way. He'd lost a lot of blood. There wasn't much I could do except get him to hospital, but uh, they wouldn't let me. And they didn't say why? No. Go on. Well, I only had my medical bag. I, not much in there. So you had to go back to the health centre? Yes, look, I, I'm sorry I had to deceive your officers like that, but uh, I, I'd been told. They'd made it very clear what would happen to my wife if I called the police. So what happened when you got back to the house? Well, Royal was worse. Well, I knew the police. I knew it would be long before they arrived. I'm, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't take that risk. I thought if I, if I warned them, uh, carried favour, they might um, leave and let me take Royal to hospital. But no. Into the car. Your car? Mm -hmm. Have you any idea why they came to you? I've no idea. And you've never been approached to treat somebody like this before? Never. Where did you go when you left the house? Well, I don't know. I mean, they made Jane drive. Uh, I don't know. Round and round. Couldn't make up their minds what to do. What to do? If Royal was dying and you couldn't save him, what options did they have? I mean... Royal had been shot, I mean, a, a pistol or something, and the, the bullet was still inside. Inside him? They wanted me to get it out. What? They didn't care how, they just wanted the bullet. Then they must have known who shot him. I don't know. And, uh, did you get it out? Uh, uh, look, uh, if possible, my, my wife doesn't know anything about this. I mean, uh, well, she was taken out of the car while the older one stayed with me. It wasn't, uh, wasn't exactly pretty, but... Yes. Was he still alive? No. What happened to the bullet? Well, he just took it and left. Well, Jane, I, I, I told her to drive to the hospital as fast as possible. And, look, she, she doesn't know anything. I think that she thinks that Royal was still alive until we got to the hospital. Any descriptions ring any bells? Could the older one be Dougie McIntyre? Well, he's only got one ear, isn't he? I don't know. Yeah, Montague and his wife are spot on. They're not going to miss something like that, are they? 
So why would anyone go to so much trouble to protect a tom called Annabelle? Especially if Royal was her pimp. Well, the girl's our main suspect. We'll go with her. Eddie must know her. Wake him up. It's what they call Nouvelle Cuisine. I need a leak. Have you seen anyway? Upstairs, I think. Hey! Hey! Come here! Who are you? Hold it. Annabelle? Where'd you get that? There! I'm gonna enjoy his explanation for this one. Dr. Montague. Yes. I'm oh, sorry to bother you. I know it's been a long night, what with one thing and another. But we've just arrested someone who's claiming to be your daughter. This way. Yes. She was found with a silver cigar box and a cigarette case. It's okay. Can we take her home now? She was also found with what we believe to be traces of crack cocaine in her pocket. Is there anything in this statement you'd like to change? No. My daughter's got her fair share of problems, but she's got nothing to do with this. How do you know that? Because I was there. She wasn't. Yeah, but you weren't at the Cranley Arms, were you? No. If you wanted to send her to the schoolboy level, nor were you. But I know my daughter. I'm sure you do. Well, I'll have to have another talk now. Sir. Come on. Up you go. No, I'm sorry, you'll have to wait there. Please. Here you go. Does your daughter know Michael Royal? Not to my knowledge. We have a witness who saw her this evening in the Cranley Arms begging Royal for crack. That is rubbish. And do you know what she did when Royal wouldn't give her any? She offered herself to anybody in the bar who'd have her. Not for Annabelle. 20 quid. No! Do you know how many takers she had? What? None. Not one. It's pathetic, isn't it? You knew Royal, didn't you? No. He was her pimp. No! What was it like, eh? What was it like? You open the door and there he is, the man who's caused your daughter so much misery. There he is, dying. And you've got to save him. I'm a doctor! And you're her father. You did everything you could because you knew that if Royal died, your daughter would be facing a murder charge. That is not true. Where's the bullet? I've told you, I gave it to the man who brought Royal to my house. What men? What men? Oh yes, you and your wife gave us very good descriptions, excellent descriptions. The only trouble is, nobody here recognises them. I don't know who they were, they brought Royal Where did around. Annabelle get the gun? What? Without the bullet, we can't prove that the gun Annabelle had was the murder weapon. She's not as thorough as you, though, is she? She's probably just thrown it away any old place. You couldn't take the risk that we might find it. That is not true. What did you do with the bullet? I've told you already. <clears throat> you didn't seem surprised to see your parents. All dressed up and covered in blood. That's their business. And what's your business? Theft? Prostitution? 20 quid a trick? Where'd you get your crack? Michael Royal? Ever heard of him? No. He's a crack dealer. Thanks for the tip. Shame he doesn't give it to you for free. You have to buy it now. Ooh, ouch. Did you ever take him back to see the family? You must have enjoyed seeing the reaction to that. I don't know him. Royal died tonight. He died in the back of your parents' car. Oh, dear. You were seen with him tonight at the Cranley Arms, where he was shot. Really? It's a bit of a coincidence. Royal ending up at your father's place. He's a doctor. There's plenty of other doctors. Why pick him? He takes care of people. He has patients. He's a doctor. How did they know where he lived? They don't go to his house. Oh, uh, nothing's ever too much trouble when it comes to helping the sick. Or helping his daughter. Oh, yes. He's Mr. Bloody Wonderful, isn't he? Especially when it comes to his patients. The power of the prescription. They all love the good doctor and he laps it up. Oh, shame. Such short-term remedies don't work at home. No. Oh, emotion. Oh, no. Mustn't get close to that. A nasty disease. Guard against it. Yes, much better. Much safer. Annabelle, did you shoot Michael Royal? Ten pounds. That's what somebody offered me. I've got to be worth more than that. Haven't I? Ten pounds. Did you shoot Michael Royal? Daddy takes care of people. Well, he's going to take care of me now. Well, that's it. Even if we find the gun, he's taken a bloody bullet. We can't even prove he's done that. He's picked the wrong night to get me out of bed.
How long has your daughter been a crack addict? I don't know. But you knew she was? Yes. And what did you do about it? She'd been into drugs for long? No. Oh, well. Not seriously. More as a protest. Against? Oh, me, her mother, society, education, background. What most teenagers grow out of. Annabelle never did. Now, crack is serious, isn't it? The speed with which it takes someone over. And you knew that Royal was Annabelle's supplier. I didn't know Royal. I didn't mention Annabelle, because she's got nothing to do with this. Is that the way you deal with things? Deny it for long enough and it'll go away. That's what your daughter thinks you do. My daughter is ill in the grip of something which is beyond her control. Really? How come? Not screwed her up in the first place. <sighs> you and your daughter close. See, I was just wondering if she's worth the effort. Stupid question. Really? Well, here you are, you and your wife, lying through your back teeth, perverting the course of justice, trying to save her neck. And what's she doing? She's back at the house, nicking the family silver. I'm not ashamed of wanting to protect my own daughter. Shouldn't you have said, I'm not ashamed to show my daughter some understanding? It's not your protection she needs. It's your help. Well, sometimes with a bullet, it can ricochet off a bone. End up somewhere completely different. I mean, completely different to where it went in. But not in Royal's case. Or by luck. I could tell where it was. And when he died, well, it wasn't easy in the back of a car, but... <clears throat> where did Annabelle get the gun? It was Royals. And the two men? Well, they brought Royal round and said what had happened. I tried, I did my best to save him, but they wouldn't let me take him to hospital. When did he die? Shortly after I got back from the surgery. Oh, the others had, had gone. Yes, there were false descriptions. And Jane and I got Royal into the back of the car. Drove somewhere quiet, under an arch. Jane held the torch. Where's the bullet now? In my car. In the windscreen wash of my car. Can I go now? Afraid not, love. Hasn't Daddy taken care of it? Well, he's taking care of it, all right. At last. <laughs>